friends, and welcome again to another Ecocalypse video! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about uh, specific topics. One of them is the Shadow Sentinels, and I'll be talking about my account in general. Uh, how we did we get there? Many questions have been asked. Many things I've been seeing people are missing or doing wrong or not prioritizing. There is a lot of stuff that you need to prioritize. I will list them as the most important things that you need to do daily. And it doesn't require a lot of uh, time if you want to go through them it will only take you like 15 10 to 15 minutes per day and if you want to maximize your uh, gains from the rewards from rankings this is what you need to do and if you want to advance more and have a better score better numbers go high on your battle ratings these things you shouldn't miss there's i've, I've searched on on uh, on YouTube before I started even covering this game of tips and tricks to maximize your account uh, in many different languages uh, before anybody covered global before global was launched and there wasn't a lot of information so I tried I sat down I went through everything I I checked probabilities and this is what I'm gonna give you and I hope this video will help you all Plus, we'll do a little bit of summons in the end because we got some from the Christmas carnival, some summons, and I accumulated a little bit of summons. Plus, we're gonna get, if you're playing from day one, and now you're at the end of this week, the second week, we're gonna get and collect another SSR that you can pick from this box. And uh, many people are asking me, what should we go for? Go for a unit you don't have and a unit that can link with your main team or with anything that you need. Collection is best. So go and grab anything that you need that you're missing from your account. I think I would go either for Wajet or Bastet or Set because I need them. Kiki, I'm collecting her shards. This is why I'm not so uh, having problems with her. Tawaret as well. I want Fenriru to get her to one star, but also with time, I'm going to get her to one star. And if you're wondering how you farm these uh, shards of them, at the draw shop, uh, the, this currency, you can get it from regression and mainly from drawing so as much as you do summoning as much as you get this currency and it's worth it you can refresh every time and go for the characters that you want anybody that we want here no i don't go for diamonds never if you have a lot of diamonds excess uh, excess of them you can go and collect them even this i have it but i will not go for the shards i will summon for the shards and how does it go how does it help is it like a lot do you get a lot so let me show you my progress from the start of the game, Kiki, I found 9 shards of her. Neftis, 26 shards out of 60. So I'm almost building Neftis without summoning her from the shop. So it needs like one more week or two more weeks. If this in two weeks I got 26, in another two weeks I will get 26 and well, I will have her. Yeah, one month took me to get a free copy just collecting her shards, which is fantastic actually. I'm not, uh, I'm not collecting anything else. I focused on Kiki, Neftis, Yulia and Fenriru. So if you check Yulia, I got Yulia. I got her uh, throughout summoning by by random. And if we break through, I have 16 out of 60, uh, 11 out of 60. And for Fenriru, where's Fenriru? Here she is. Also, I'm uh, searching for her shards. 10 out of 60. So it's not that uh, hard to fetch these shards or find them. It's only about luck, and you need to have patience and uh, wait for it. No. Moreover, uh, more than that, let's talk, before we continue about the min-maxing, uh, major points I want to talk about the Sentinel here. The Shadow of the Sentinels, it's a very guild-based, let's say PvP-oriented map. Not many people are happy about it, but the thing is, you need to be uh, in coordination with your guild. Let's say there's Sentinels like this, which you can go and read in the leaderboard. If you go and check your leaderboards, it will show you which ones are the most that are making and uh, where they are locating. So you can check where they are if you want to go and fight them. Plus, if you're, as you see, this has times two. So whatever you have, double the income inside it. Go and buy it. Talk to your guild. As you see, Panda Guild is doing a great job. There's 20 to 21 person here. Everybody is farming. They're having 2,880 per day with a 20% rate because it's occupied by the syndicate. Now they don't, I think they have the monopoly, but I can't see it. If we go to my guild, my guild is doing the same. We also have the same. We did have the monopoly. It had 100% here. So it, it will wear off after a while. And anybody can go inside and attack you, by the way. And you can defend it because if you see somebody is going in to attack, they will be occupying one slot here. So you can check who they are from different abyss. 
uh, from different, uh, not Abyss, Abyss is the name of the guild, from different guild and you can counter them or kill them. So here, there's somebody here inside and they have their power, this is their power. So I battle them and I kick them out because if you kick them out, if somebody is infiltrating here, they will be a problem. You will not have the 100%. So what I did is I kicked him out. I got the syndicate monopolization by 100% again. So now we have more income and we will have the double all the day. So make keep in mind that this is so important to have because you want to collect game points. And if you collect more and more, so challenge five players and you claim this, perfect. You need uh, to continue to get all the summons and to get all the rewards and rank higher with your syndicate. And the more rewards that you get, the happier you'll be. At the end, you're gonna get a free uh, SSR weapon or Chimera, which will help you a lot. So don't forget about that. Talk to your guild, occupy, monopolate, defend, and stay in one uh, place. As you see people, you can see them running and you can see them where they're heading and you can just go and check what they're doing. Now, continuing about things. There is two things that you need to understand and two things that you need to farm daily or three things mainly. So the first one we talked about is to go and farm the shards that you want. From the cage, you need to buy this every single day from the cage, which is from the v PVP tokens that you accumulate because this is a substitute for whatever augment that you have. Whatever level, you don't need to go and spend your stamina to farm it. You can substitute it with this. So every day you have 10, go and buy them daily. Now I bought the bond. It's a weekly limit. So buy it every week. These are so scarce for me right now. I need them. So I'm buying them. They're not recommended. If you have all excess of them, forget about them. This is the most important thing. And this is every week. So buy it. Why not? In the abyss, I'm not buying anything even that I need the models. I go only and buy weekly uh, or daily uh, these things because I want at least two. I can I can have two if I farm the abyss or, uh, every day. I can have two from these. If I buy three or four, the next day I can buy one and barely buy the whole shards because every shard is for 800 and it means 4,000 for the five shards, which is a little bit expensive. Purification, as I said before, now I bought these because I had excess. I wanted to remove them. I bought the weekly. So the weekly you get two tickets of this. This is what I recommend. If something is a little bit close to your shards, like I need two more shards and I finish this. This is why I'm buying it right now. And the this one, this one didn't unlock and this one didn't unlock until I defeat 240. This is every week you're going to get two tickets and it's very it's expensive actually it's for 10,000 both of them so one is for 5,000 I don't recommend it but it's it's more chances for you to get a Neolith a new one the syndicate as well always buy these boxes because you're gonna get random shards from here and you will accumulate your progress faster as you see I'm I'm really want to level my characters and the most important thing in this shop is this this to upgrade your exclusive weapons on your units and this is very hard to come by and it's very, very scarce. I will show you how much I get per hour every day, which is absolutely crazy because I really want more of them. Uh, I don't buy anything here. I'm accumulating until I have very much from this. I will start refreshing and buying whatever I want. Faith, if buy whatever you want, we still, I don't know anything about the nurture solution. So I'm just going to wait for it. Anything that says elementium, I'm scared about it a little bit. The quantum also from summoning, also here from summoning, do as you wish. And here, the most important things, every week buy the uh, leader gear so you can get his gear or his arms or his weapon. And also buy the heterogeneous solution from here. This is a one time. If you want to buy it, buy it. If you don't, don't. It just accelerate your thing. And for one, you're going to get 200. So if you buy 200, I'm going to buy them. I have 8,000. Every day I go and buy them all the way to 100. It costs me 200. I buy them for 200. And this, because you want to upgrade and... Can I type here? Okay, this is the maximum. I buy the 200 every day. Because this is the upgrading material for your weapons. And you upgrade them. And this will help you a lot to accelerate. Now, they become 5 for 1 if this offer is uh, finished. So you can buy them if you have so much excess here. And yeah, furniture every day. I go and search for the furniture with this currency, the furniture currency, buy a discount. If it's not discounted, 
I don't buy it. Or if I'm really burnt, I buy it. Other than that, I don't buy anything except when I see discount. And if there's something that discounted for 90% with diamonds, it means if it's like 600 diamonds and it's 90% so I can buy it by 60 diamonds, I'll buy it. So this is how I go with it. So I roll anything. I have them. This is not owned, no discount. So I'll not buy them. I refresh again. Not owned, 420 with no discount. Not worth it. I'll not buy it. This is 70% off. This chair is 7. I don't have it. 70% is a very good number. From 300 to 90, I'll definitely buy this, which is absolutely crazy. And now I have more, one more. This is how you need to think about it. Min max and go with it. Now let's go to the do the summons because this video is taking too long. So what do we have? I have one. Yeah, better like summon something. Okay, maybe I can. Oh no, I wanted Vivi. I, I'm not going to get anything actually. So it's only one summon. Okay, here we go. The Neolith identification. So I will go for Holy Grail because it's broken and it's OP. So here we go. 20. Let's go by 20. Can we get one complete one? No, a lot of Holy Grail, which is perfect. And a lot of Neolith. And here we go. 5. And did we get anything? Another Holy Grail. I'm farming their fragments. And I think I've finished the Ankh here. And two more. Imagine with the two more I get something perfect. The, the multi-core is good. I want the, the small ones, actually. Another Ankh Fragment, which will complete my Ankh Fragment. Daily draws, we didn't do it. Back-to-back -back dailies, I got Yulia and then I got Camellia. What do we get today? Probably nothing, but it will be funny if I get an SSR. No, it's an SR, which is good, actually. Snejana. I love Snejana, actually. She's the best SR uh, damage dealer so far. And yeah. That's concluding it for our video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.